Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Graphene OS, one of the most secure operating systems for mobile experience. Now, Graphene OS is only available on Android and primarily Pixel devices. There's a wide variety of devices you can choose from. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you to decide which one is the best for each type of user. I'm going to also be putting my Amazon affiliate links in the description and pinned comment. If you decide to purchase one of these devices from Amazon, I'll make a small a bit amount of money to continue to make videos just like these ones. Anyways, guys, as we look from the official website, it gives a pretty good guide on what devices are supported. Primarily the newer devices, anything like the Pixel 3a and below um, are no longer going to be receiving security updates from Graphene OS. Um, so that's something to think about. You do want to get one of these newer ones. Not only that, it does give some information about which device is recommended. However, from this guide, I didn't really find anything that I could find about the pricing. And that's one thing, perhaps the most important thing you'll need to consider when choosing one of the Pixel devices. That's why I made this handy dandy chart to pick which Pixel is the best for you guys. So guys, looking at this chart, we can see the individual prices uh, for the Pixel devices, which you could find on Amazon with my links. Basically, we have the Pixel 6a right now it's $399. That is an amazing deal. Um, it has a discount going on right now. So if you're looking to get into graphene like today or sometime in the future, it could be a good idea to pick this up today since it is on sale. Um, next up though, we have the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Both of these devices are gonna have like a little bit faster refresh rate on the screen, a little bit of faster processors and stuff like that, a little bit more RAM. They're like the premium device right now in terms of pixels um, as of right now. If we look at some comparisons between the 6A and Pixel 6, um, you can see that it's $449 at launch, $599 for the Pixel 6, so roughly $150 more. Uh, right now, at least from the sale going on with the Pixel 6A, there's about a $100 difference. So actually, the price has gone down perhaps more on the Pixel 6. With the Pixel 6, you're going to get a bigger screen, a little bit faster refresh rate, like I said, a little bit more RAM, and a little bit more camera capability with that wide-angle camera. Graphene does note that, like I said, the newer devices, 6A, 6 Pro, and 6, you have probably around five years of continued security updates from Graphene. And the older devices, maybe stuff like Pixel 4, Pixel 4, and Pixel uh, 4XL, have only maybe like one to two years left. So while these devices, um, even maybe five, anything below five, um, you know, maybe that's two years, maybe these ones are one year, anything below these. Um, it's going to have less security updates. So Graphene at least suggests getting one of the 6 series. Honestly, the Pixel 6 at 491 is a pretty good deal for those who want a 90 hertz display rate, which makes the screen feel a little bit smoother. However, for 399 the Pixel 6a is a really good deal. Another thing to think about is the Pixel 6a's weight. And the Pixel 6 is a little bit more at around... Well, comparing here, Pixel 6a, 178 grams, and Pixel 6 at 207 grams, so quite a bit heavier, actually. So the Pixel 6a is definitely going to feel lighter in the hand and should have a good enough screen experience. So it really comes down to what you guys want. If you're looking for the best graphene device in terms of power, you might want to go for the Pixel 6, to be honest, especially if you have that budget and plan to use it as your main phone. Uh, the Pixel 6 Pro is quite pricey, though, right now, and the Pixel 6, I think is a little bit more competitive however if you truly want the best budget experience and you're looking for something more like a side device to test out with graphene i would go with the pixel 6a that's one i'm going to be testing out very soon on the channel so stay tuned i made this video because i've kind of been thinking about this myself and i decided to go with the pixel 6a to test out graphene and see how it works as someone who's really interested in security and privacy Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Stay tuned. Also, stay tuned for more graphene-based videos.